Welcome to Firearms of America. Today, as you guys can see, I'm out here at our Church of Fire property. And yes, like the fire, it is freaking hot here today. Okay, as you can see, I'm all sweaty, but, but that's fine because I have something very special for a review today. Something that I wanted to review for a very, very, very long time. And it is from the company Cole Freedom Ordinance. Check this out. This is Freedom Ordinance FX9. Yes, and this is their eight barrel, eight inch barrel version. Uh, generation two, I know they have already plenty of generation that came out after that, uh, but they, for whatever reason, they were really, really hard to get. I was, in fact, trying to get one of these as uh, my main arm, but ended up not finding one and I actually ended up getting the PC charger. So, here you go. I have it chambered in nine millimeter. Takes your regular Glock magazine. So uh, let's do some shooting and uh, see what this thing can do. Now I have some, uh, I mean, oh yeah, there you go, okay, perfect. So obviously if you're not familiar with Glock magazines, it's probably the best magazine out there in nine millimeter that is. Now, if we're talking 5.56, yeah, there's some other options. But when it comes to 9mm, I personally think Glock magazines are the best. I know people are not going to agree, some people, some Glock haters that, <laughs> that I have on my channel, which is completely fine. It's completely fine. But since we are loading the magazine, and uh, oh, you know what? Actually, while I'm loading the magazine, I actually got the comment the other day. This, this one guy, he was like, we don't want to see you load the magazines. I was like, well, you want me to, to see me shooting? <laughs> how, how am I going to shoot without loading a magazine? What, what do you expect? Like, there's an assistant here, like, loading a magazine for me? Well, in that case, I would have an assistant to, like, shoot for me and do the review for me. Because <laughs> why not? But, anyway, your Glock magazine, the best out there. Check this out. Nicely numbered. If you're not familiar with Glock magazines, that's what you're getting. This is a 33 capacity magazine. But you can use... I have it over here. I have a 17 capacity magazine for my Glock 17 and it will work just as perfect if you want to keep it lower profile and still have plenty of capacity. So, where is my ear protection? Here it is. I might be hot, but I don't want to go hot and deaf. Okay. So, over here, as you can see, we have aftermarket sights. It's the M um, Magpul, Magpul flip-up sights. Very nice, I love these. You can flip them up both ways, uh, either here on this button or this ambidextrous button right here, which is on both sides. Excellent size in my opinion. Let's do uh, some shooting. I think that might need a little bit of oil, this gun. Okay, so we got our uh, little target over there. You can see it, let's see if I can uh, Hit the target with it. All right. And we're out of ammo. Awesome. I freaking love this thing. Okay, let's start from the very beginning. First of all, the stock, right? We have our collapsible. I think it's a one, two, one, two, three. Three or four position stock. But technically this is a brace stock. So you can actually use it as a brace as well. And why the reason why they do it is because they do have shorter barrels as well where the stock is not gonna be applicable. So you will only be able to buy this eight inch barrel uh, version with a stock like this. Anything shorter, obviously you're gonna get just a brace, okay, just for the ATF purposes. Moving on, we have our pistol grip. As you can see, it's actually nicely rubberized. No, this is not just your standard polymer plastic. No, this is actually rubberized. And it creates a very nice, kind of a, 
not with, not with an aggression, but more with like rubber texture gripping into your hand pretty good. Overall, I do like the ergonomics. It has a little bit of a defined finger grooves, so pretty good. Now, moving on, we have our mag release, and as you can see, mag release is actually very nicely extended. Very good button. Even with my short fingers, I am able to reach it without any problems. I think that's great. Uh, unfortunately, on my Ruger PC charger, I have the mag release on this side, so it's not really one hand operation like this one. Here, you can just and that's it, the mag is out. On my Ruger, I have to actually kind of go, which is, is fine, you can, you can adjust to pretty much anything. But here, I think it's much, much more uh, convenient over here, I love it. And it's, it's, it's uh... oh, and it actually has, <laughs> it actually says Freedom Reigns. Check this out, yeah, that's why I like it. I think that's, that's the main reason why I like it. Anyway, moving on, we have our uh, slide release on this side over here. Works very well, very nicely, very extended. Works great. Let's do some uh, few more rounds, five more rounds, and uh, we will talk about the trigger. The trigger is absolutely phenomenal on this thing. Now, like I said, the, uh, the racker overall, it works well. But this particular gun, I think, it does need a little bit of uh, lubrication because uh, it feels like it's been uh, dry for some time. Okay, so got five rounds in the magazine. Very easy to rack. There we go. It's better. Oh yeah. And we got the smoke. This, by the way, at the very front is not the su suppressor. Uh, on the website, it's just listed as a uh, Fox. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Basically, fake, <laughs> just for the for the looks. But you can unscrew this Fox suppressor. Yes, it, it unscrews pretty easily, and it's your standard one and a half by twenty-eight whatever thread, so you can mount. Whether you want to put a suppressor, whether you want to put a uh, compensator, just trying to remember, remember the name. Now, you have plenty, plenty of attachments on the Picatinny rail. Uh, you have, I believe, total, let's see, probably like 20, 20 slots. If, I think it might be more actually. It might be like 20, 24 or 26 sli uh, slots uh, for this. So you have plenty of uh, accessory attachment options for this red dot magnifier whatever you also have your m lock on both the sides and on the bottom as well here as you can see the owner actually attached the uh another picatinny rail to get this uh little grip in place which works very well okay so let's talk about the trigger the trigger on this particular rifle carbine ar pistol whatever you want to call this thing is fantastic check this out so you have probably like quarter of a millimeter. Does that sound? Okay, there, it's on the trigger. And then, oh, man, this is good. This is one great trigger. Okay, let's do it again, check this out. Barely anything and then, Oh yeah, super crisp. I mean, I'm freaking believably crisp. Okay, so I'm gonna put some five more rounds through this and uh, we're gonna try to come up with a reason, reasonable, decent conclusion. So some of you guys might be thinking, okay, so what's the point of, what's the point of having a nine millimeter chambered rifle or AR pistol, whatever, carbine, because you're probably going to carry a sidearm and if you have good taste, you, if you're wise enough, it's going to be Glock, all right? <laughs> so if you're carrying a Glock as your sidearm, then what's the point of carrying a main arm in 9mm, not only just in 9mm, but also with Glock magazines? Well, think about this. I don't have my... Uh, 
my main holster, my thigh holster because I don't have my operator belt with me, but I do have this. You have your handgun, right? And in this particular case, it's my Glock 17, who's obviously Glock magazine. You're running your main arm, right? For whatever reason, You're doing something on the range, all right? You're shooting, you have, you know what? Instead of talking about it, how about I just do it? Yeah, that's why. So, let me know in the comments below, guys, what do you think about this review? What do you think about this FX9 from Freedom Ordnance? Personally, I think it's a fantastic, fantastic firearm. I absolutely love it. I really wish that they were uh, available whenever I was shopping for a main arm. Now I'm with Ruger PC Charger, which is also great. I also love it. And honestly, at this point right now, I would probably go with the PC Charger. And if you guys want me to make a comparison video between something like this and something like Ruger PC Charger, let me know in the comments below and kind of uh, started enjoying making those uh, comparison videos. So all your requests definitely matter. I always look out for those and I always put them on my special to-do list. So thank you very much guys for watching. It's about time I go and start my uh, church sermon. I'll be doing it like this, all sweaty today. But thank you for sticking around, and I'll see you guys in the next video.